How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and last time we checked out Route 15 here, except there was one building smack dab in the middle of the route that we have not checked out yet, and that is the Poke Transfer Lab. What's Poke Transfer? Come find out. Seems legit. Let's check this thing out. Looks kind of shady, I guess, but oh well. So, as soon as you enter, you'll see this lady. Hi, hello, you came here, that means you are a visitor. Huh? No? You came all the way here? Ah! You are a trainer! Are you in the middle of your journey? Ah! This is your trainer card? Wow, you ask a lot of questions. What? You! You have all the gym badges! Great! You may be able to! Professor Park! Quick! Quick! Whoa! Easy there! Wow, she's in a hurry! Oh, there you are! Professor! Do you have a minute? I think you do. Listen, this kid is a trainer who has all the gym badges. All of them! Except, you know, the trio badge. I'm sure this trainer can operate it. I have told you many times, this invention is great indeed, but without a professional trainer. What? You have the gym badges? All of them? <laughs> Fantastic! Fantastico! Yahoo! <laughs> I love this scene. What a great day! Great! Unbelievable! Hi, I am Professor Andrew Park! You, er, Devin! Devin, are you willing to participate in an ambitious experiment that will make history? This device is called Poke Transfer. It connects blah blah blah, called DS system, meanwhile, blah blah, molecules, and then while well, evoking blah blah, or go energy particles, blah blah blah, and the frequency, as you see, before we move on, blah blah, and the alpha waves, blah blah blah, following which reach convergence, blah blah, spectacular results! I love spectacular results! To put it more simply, if you use this device, you may be able to bring Pokemon here from other regions. But just for safety's sake, the Pokemon you're transferring shouldn't be holding anything, so make sure to take their items first. So, you! You are a fantastic Pokemon trainer! Will you participate in the great experiment of the century? You need two DS systems to use, PokeTransfer. We will conduct this experiment with another DS, is that okay? Okay, but just remember, muy importante! Once you bring a Pokemon here, you can't send it back. Do you still want to do it? Okay, so, in order to do this, you do need two DS systems. Uh, this does include DSi systems or 3DS systems. Basically anything that will play a DS game. Um, you need to have two. You can't do it with one, unfortunately. So, go ahead and save your game really quick here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, this is probably going to have to be cut into two different parts because I'm going to, uh, well, I'll show you. All right. Okay, okay, come here. Stand right here. It'll all be in one video, though. Don't worry. Ah, there we go. Well, let's begin. Allons-y. All right, so... As you can see here, on my other DS, I need to insert Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, or Soul Silver in the other DS system. And I'm going to show you that because I'm going to switch over to the other system with magical powers. Okay, so on your other DS, you're going to, uh, well, first of all, I'm playing on the original DS here. But you want to locate your DS download play. This will be in a different place depending on if you're playing on an original DS, on a uh, DSi, or on a 3DS. But locate that, and then you will see um, it'll search for available software, and you should find your Poke Transfer with your ID number. So go ahead and select this, and then it will download it. Um, this will take just a little bit, but. Once you do that, you'll be able to play the little game on your second DS. On your other screen, it should be showing, you know, the whole, all right, please insert the thing, and then uh, into your other DS system, which is what I'm doing now. And as you can see, now it's loading. Cool. And on the other screen, it's showing uh, sending data to the other DS system. Well, cool. So give this just a moment here, and then you will be able to select six Pokemon to transfer. Um, the only requirement really is, well actually there are two requirements, well technically only one's a requirement. See this Scyther right down here? 
It knows a hidden move. It cannot be caught with Poke Transfer. So if you're planning on transferring anything, you need to make sure that you take that Pokemon to the move deleter if it's holding any HM moves, because you can't transfer anything with HM moves. You also can't transfer anything um, in your party. So if you're trying to transfer something in your current team, you need to make sure you go back to the box and deposit it. One other thing, any items attached to your Pokemon will be left in your bag on that version. So you don't get to transfer items. I know you can't get all those Master Balls you've been holding on to. So go ahead and choose six Pokemon to transfer here. Um, I guess I could transfer pretty much whatever I wanted. Let's just take a look. Ooh, look at all those battle dudes. Um, ooh, all my mystery gift Pokemon. I know, I know, I got so many. So many things, huh? Um, let's see. Do something kind of interesting, I guess. I don't want to transfer too much. Let's do that Scyther. Let's do, um... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, how about this Metagross? Sure, why not? And, um... Farfetch'd. Da, 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 da. Well, anyway, you can go ahead and choose whatever, whatever Pokemon you want to transfer, and then you'll be able to transfer them, no problem. Um... Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose six, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've chosen six Pokemon. I'm bringing over uh, just a random Scyther, a Shiny Melodic from the VGC tour, um, a Shaman, a Shiny Bronzor that I got through Chaining in Platinum, an Arceus, and a Shiny Baneary that I also caught through Chaining. So let's go ahead and transfer these. All the held items will be put in the bag, but that's okay. So this is how the game works. On the bottom screen, you have this little crossbow thing. Well, I guess it's just a normal bow. And you'll see Pokemon hopping around. You need to pull back on that and then try to catch them. If they're hopping, you can uh, fire your little Pokeball thing. Whoops. A little tricky to do here. Um, this is my setup. There we go. So, as they're hopping in a direction, that's the time to throw a Pokeball at them. If they're hiding in a bush, you should throw the, uh, or lob the Pokeball at the bush. Whoops. While you can see it poking out, like that. Darn it. Otherwise, you're just gonna miss it entirely. Alright, um, usually I'm pretty good at this. I'm just distracted right now. There's a big old thunderstorm outside, so... Oh, come here, Shaman. Darn it, it's just hiding. Oh, there it goes. Ta-da! Alright. There. And, uh, there was a little pink cloud thing you could see up there. If you hit that, it'll, like, stun all the Pokémon. Now, I'm gonna do that again, actually. I'm going to say no. And we're gonna try this again. So, hang tight for just a second, and I'll show you how to do that one more time. Alright, so I've gotten six Pokemon again. I, uh, actually opted, instead of that Scyther, I'm gonna transfer over, I think it's a Shiny Buizel that I got from a buddy. Alright, so now I'm gonna do this for real. Oh, darn it. Also, if two Pokemon um, bump into each other while they're hopping around, it'll kind of stun them. And then, uh, here, hopefully I can show you. Well, maybe not. Once you get good at this, it goes very quick. It's so easy to transfer. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these Pokemon, and then I'll show you them on, uh... On Pokemon White 2, just remember, it is a one-way transfer. Once you send them over, you can never send them back. So make sure anything you're sending over, you're fine with losing forever on your fourth generation games. You can also only transfer from the fourth generation onward. You can't do from, say, Emerald or Fire Red or Leaf Green, because that's a third generation game. You'd need to transfer it using the Migrate feature and the Pal Park 
on your Generation 4 game, and then transfer it using the Poke Transfer to your Generation 5 game. So, hopefully that gives you an idea of what the Poke Transfer is all about. Um, again, if you don't have 2DS systems, you need to borrow one from a friend or something. So, uh, just let it save, and then you will be returned to the, uh, to the Poke Transfer Lab on your other game. As for the DS you are playing the little thing on, it'll ask if you want to use Poke Transfer again. You can keep doing it over and over again, making it great if you want to transfer a whole lot of Pokemon. But when you're done, hit no, and then it'll say Poke Transfer will close. Please turn off the power. So go ahead and do that. Actually, I guess uh, I guess you have to turn it off yourself, but no big deal. So just switch back over to your other DS system and continue so you can see your Pokemon. All right, now I've done it. So great, multi bin. I think that's right. Uh, g g great, great, fantastic! <laughs> Your handling of Poke Transfer is really exhilarating. Oh, our invention is near completion. Come again very soon. Come again immediately. And please show us even more wonderful handling of Poke Transfer. I put the Pokemon you caught in your PC box. If you decide that you want to play with Poke Transfer sometime, you're welcome to come back and ask me. Cool! Well, um, let's see here. I think it'd be good just to, just to check and see what we have in here. Although, because of the way I'm doing this, I actually need to do it again, except I need to record from my Platinum version and show you that on this screen. So I just actually transferred a bunch of, a bunch of crazy, you know, nothing exciting. Uh, because I couldn't record it. All the action happens on your second DS. But using the power of video editing, I'm going to put that in, uh, in the little bit right behind me, okay? So I will see you in a moment, and, uh, we'll take a look at the new Pokemon I just transferred. Alright, trainers, so as you can see, now we can take a look in our box, because I've transferred the Pokemon, the cool Pokemon over. Uh, this was fun to do. So, uh, let's see. So yeah, these six here, they're just random things I sent over from my first little thing, because I had to do this in two goes. But anyway, as you can see, here are the Pokemon that you saw me transfer. My shiny Melodic from, uh, the VGC. 2009, wow. Um, and then we have my Shaman. Oh yeah. Uh, da, da, da. A shiny Bronzor that I chained using the Poke Radar in Pokemon Platinum. A shiny Baneary, which I also chained for. A shiny Buizel, which I uh, actually traded for that. A buddy was chaining. And then my Arceus, which I'm hoping will come in handy for at least Pokedex completion. I'm not going to use any of these though, but I just wanted to transfer some cooler things just because cool things rock, right? But, you can go ahead and transfer pretty much whatever Pokemon you want, as long as uh, you get rid of those HM moves first. Making it just a great way to get all of your old Pokemon back. In my original Pokemon White playthrough, I transferred... Um, let's see... I transferred actually several Pokemon from my previous playthroughs. But they're on over there, so that's why I didn't do it for this one. I know, and I could have done my Soul Silver, but eh, I want to keep it where it is. And I could have done Diamond, but I like to keep that version just totally intact. Anyway, let's see if there's any other funny dialogue here. Here, we are monitoring Poke Transfer. We're keeping a careful eye to make sure all the Pokemon have safe travels. Okay. With this research of mine, I also want to have an impact on people in the future. People living 100 or 200 years from now. Wow, they're going to be old if that's the case. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, cool then. What does this thing do? Ooh, all right. Um, yeah, that's actually it. That's all there is to the Poke Transfer. So, let's head on over, over to the east on Route 15. And through this gate lies White Forest. Or if you're playing Pokemon Black 2, you will be, uh running into Black City instead. Now there is a way you can transfer these, or you can actually visit the opposite version, or the opposite location, but I'll show you that later on. But I am going to at least check out White Forest in the next episode of 
Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure. See you next time, trainers.